Marvel vs Capcom Infinite Preview by Simon Miller When you take a minute to think about just how successful Capcom has been within the fighting genre it's a bit overwhelming, but entries such as Marvel vs Capcom Infinite are just big reminders as to why this has become the developer's niche. In short, it just knows what it's doing. Anyone that's ever played the franchise before will know what to expect here because the brains behind it deliberately haven't fiddled too much with foundations they know a certain audience loves. If anything it's more of a major refinement and tweaking than a template overhaul but it's hard to say that's a bad move. MVC remains as fun as it always has. The appeal should be obvious to a new player as well. Capcom takes a bunch of famous faces from Street Fighter and puts them in the same world as everyone's favorite Marvel characters. When you think about it like that, how could you not be, in the least, a little intrigued? It's the kind of crossover that more companies would benefit from embracing. It works across the board, too, as you are able to witness Ryu vs Iron Man, Ken vs The Hulk, Chun-Li vs Captain Marvel and so many more besides. It's absolute nonsense when you think about it out of context but it simply exists to serve as many fans as possible. It does this time and time again. It gets better, too, because as before you don't have straight one-on-one -on -one bouts and instead participate in multi-team brawls where you can call in a partner whenever you want. This not only allows you to enjoy the roster even more, but opens the door for some ridiculous combos and moves and it's here where gameplay properly shines. Again, this is very similar to past entries, but because it's so unique you can't help but fall back into its addictive ways within minutes. Based on the concept that has made Capcom so successful for years you'll still be tapping and quarter turning your way to victory, the shift being that everything is nuts and like an attack on the senses. MVCI is much, much faster than your average fighting experience, so much so when you first sit down to play it you'll likely be baffled. It's not too out of the realms of possibility to have no clue what's going on as characters bounce around the screen like they're on a sugar high and colors flashing for seemingly no apparent reason. This does make it incredibly fun because you can't help but be mesmerized by how much is happening, even if you're confused as to what you're meant to take away from it at first. That works, however because if you are the type of person who just wants to smash a control pad with your hand and enjoy yourself, you absolutely can. That may frustrate the more hardened player but balance is key, and Capcom usually always gets it right. With that said, this other side does have to be catered for as well and the depth available is almost silly. Should you want to learn how deep you can go with MVCI there's an abundance of ways to get lost within it, and the returning infinity stones just add to that even more.